Hello and welcome to your own YouTube channel, Movies Basket. Today I will take you through the journey of a Japanese secret thrill ride film called, Honor Student. The story begins in Ichikawa Secondary School in a little Japanese town. The senior students are in the study hall receiving their test results. One of the students is Miyamoto Asuka, a friendly, yet dumb student. Even though the test was the easiest one, she finds no answers correct and scores zero. Her boyfriend, Yoshida, checks the more brilliant side by mentioning that zero is her lucky number. The teacher scolds them because he knows that if Asuka doesn't start studying, her future is uncertain. Then here comes another test of history that makes Asuka anxious. The first question was to name a monument that is popular for giving wishes when offered a coin. She doesn't have a clue about the answer. Rather than leaving the answer blank, she jots down the name of an irregular spot called Gachimo. At the point when she puts the name down on the paper, bright light is visible outside the window. At some place in the city, a strange path of forest is formed automatically. The next day, she and Yoshida are headed to school when they see that path. They don't recall it being there prior to today, so the couple chooses to explore it. Following a brief walk, they find a shrine. They tried to pronounce its name but couldn't make it. Asuka tosses a coin and wishes to get full marks in the upcoming test. They return to school where they get the result of the previous test and Asuka scores 5 out of 100. She gasps at herself for trusting in the shrine's power. That day, the class has one more test about politics. The first question was to mention the name of the ongoing Japanese prime minister. Asuka has no idea and rather than skipping the question, she jots down Yoshida's name on it. She doesn't have any idea about the rest of the questions asked in the test paper so all things being equal, she sleeps. After school, Asuka and Yoshida go to her house to hang out. When they walk in, they hear the noise of arguments between Asuka's parents. Her dad is a sales representative who is going to be laid off while her mom has an extramarital affair with a younger man. Asuka requests Yoshida to ignore them and takes him to her room. On the way, he sees void plates and bowls outside a door. This was her twin brother named Keisuke. He used to be the most brilliant student in his elementary school who always scored full marks. However he failed in his high school entrance exam and this disappointment was extremely severe with him. Since then, he has locked himself away in his room. He doesn't talk to anybody and is dependably on the PC messing around. Asuka gets upset while discussing her brother. To cheer her up, Yoshida goes to the store to make them something to eat. Elsewhere, their teacher is reviewing the test papers. Out of nowhere, the shrine begins sparkling and so do the teacher's glasses. Some time later, Asuka calls Yoshida and asks him what is taking such a long time. Yoshida claims that he is too busy to hang out today. Just after the call, she gets a text from her schoolmate, saying that Yoshida is in immense difficulty. He has been chosen as the Prime Minister of Japan. The meetings of him posturing for the camera as the Prime Minister is turning into a web sensation on the internet. The following day, Asuka goes to class, actually confused about how her beau who went to the supermarket transformed into the Prime Minister. A few other news stories about the leaders of other nations are also missing is the hot topic of the school. The teacher shows up with the evaluated papers and hands over Asuka her papers with a smile. To her surprise she got full marks on the test despite the fact that she left a large portion of it unfilled. On investigating, she understands that Yoshida turned into the prime minister since she wrote his name on the test paper. Additionally, the leaders of different nations are disappearing since she left all others' questions unattended. The shrine has conceded her wish however another way than she would have suspected. Presently, the world will change as per her responses for her to get the full marks. To recover her mistakes, she finds out about the appropriate answers and writes them down on the test paper. Luckily enough, the arrangement works and Yoshida is terminated on his most memorable day at work. The presidents from around the world are likewise found right away and everything returns to normal. It is then time for the next test. This time, Asuka isn't anxious as she believes that wrong answers in a math test won't change anything. After school, Yoshida meets Asuka once again and tells her how he was terminated. Asuka calms him down prior to revealing to him about her odd power. Yoshida doesn't trust her and asks her to demonstrate it. 
Before she does something, a tower in the town begins squirming. This is a result of a blunder she made in the math test. The couple quickly hurries to the teacher's room and amends the mistake which brings the tower in its original state. Indeed, even the specialists on television can't make sense of what made the structure squirm. While getting back, Asuka and Yoshida go to where that shrine was earlier. However, it has totally disappeared at this point. Since they don't recollect the name, they have no real way to search for it once again. Presently, the best way to save the world is for Asuka to focus on her study and get every one of the answers right. With a strong determination she sits down to study hard that night, unfortunately starts snoozing a couple of moments later. In the next scene, Asuka and Yoshida are outside the teacher's room, calmly sitting tight for him to evaluate the new test papers. As expected, Asuka gets the full marks however she prays that she doesn't make a critical change in the world. On returning home, her father welcomes her energetically, having made the greatest offer of his profession. Asuka unwittingly wrote down in her last test that tap water is the most important resource of energy. This resulted people purchasing more water purifiers and thus, made her dad a huge load of cash. She overreacts for a second however seeing her dad cheerful, she chooses to keep the world as it is for the time being. Soon thereafter, the news reports a lot of mobs occurring all over the planet for water. At the point when things go crazy, Asuka rapidly amends the answer sheet and changes the world back to normal. Just then, she gets a plan to take care of her parents' marital issues utilizing the power she has. In the next test, she is asked for the name of the astronaut who is going to go on a long outing to space. She jots down the name of her mom's boyfriend and sends him to space the following day. Because of this, he breaks up with her mom. Now her mother begins focusing on her family after his departure. Asuka's life couldn't get better than that. Presently, the main individual she needs to help is her twin brother Keisuke. In the following test, she writes down that her brother would come out and wishes everybody a good day. This arrangement doesn't go as expected. Their dad barges into Keisuke's room and forces him to come outside. This causes an immense dispute in the family. It is uncovered that her dad has been threatened to be laid off and her mom has begun messaging different men. Asuka at last admits that tackling her concerns with her power is not permanent. She begins putting forth a real attempt to start conversation with her brother. Since he is as yet a scholarly genius, she starts studying loudly outside his room every day. She commits a few errors that irritates Keisuke yet he doesn't write to her for a couple of days. Then one day she skips a math question which was too tough for her to resolve. Keisuke talks, interestingly, and shows her how to solve it. As a result of her brother's direction, Asuka begins concentrating more enthusiastically, despite the fact that he is just discussing her through a closed door. In the end, her dad begins reading books for sales reps and invests additional energy into his work. Her mom also deletes all his boyfriend's numbers from her telephone and starts focusing on her family. After a week, Asuka scores the full marks on a test without anybody's assistance. She rushes to Keisuke with the uplifting news, however, he doesn't open the door. The next morning, Asuka and her parents are at the dining table enjoying their breakfast. To their shock, Keisuke comes to the first floor and welcomes them. He additionally apologizes to his dad for giving up and vows to improve from this point forward. One day while heading to school, Asuka and Yoshida find the main test paper inside Asuka's sack. She had torn it since she scored just 5 out of 100. She joins those torn pieces which all of a sudden forms a passageway to the shrine. Then she noticed that she had written, Gachimo, as the answer to that first question asking about the wish granting shine and, this, shrine must be the outcome of that answer only. The couple rapidly goes to the shrine and asks to reverse the wish and change the world back to ordinary. They trust that something will occur and get disappointed when nothing changes. In school, the teacher takes one more test, this time about world, geography, and population. Unexpectedly, Asuka recollects that the shrine just conceded her desire since she offered a coin. This means to switch the wish, she should accept the coin back. She rapidly finishes the test and hurries to get it back. The coin is inside a locked chest. She uses a stick to attempt to get it out but couldn't make it. Elsewhere, Keisuke's parents are talking about his future. 
He is glad to have moved out of the past and energized for the life ahead. His mom also apologizes to trouble her husband previously. The family at last settles their disparities at a time. At the same time, we see Asuka's teacher evaluating the latest test. He gets to Asuka's paper and she scores 100, as expected. Simultaneously, she incidentally drops the coin, once again, into the chest. The coin focuses a bright light on her. Suddenly there is nobody as before the shrine. The whole city, country, and the world, is blank as though each individual disappeared just like that. In the last scene, we see that Asuka missed the last question in the new test. The question was, what, is the current population of the world? Since Asuka left it, blank, the entire world is, human-less. If you like this video then, please, hit the like button, and, subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon so that you can receive our, latest videos, before everyone else. Thanks a lot, for your valuable time. See you soon, bye.